Hey guys, Brent here, Winner Marine. Uh, today is an exciting day, standing in front of our brand new Demo 720 hardtop, and I've got to say I am super excited. A couple of little differences I want to show you on this boat, which we'll get to in a moment. One thing I just want to touch base on first is the trailer that it's sitting on. So, easy tow trailer, all out of Victoria. It's paired absolutely perfectly with this hull. One thing I really like about it is there's very minimal moving parts, so a lot less to move and jump around, so you know, a lot less chance of scratching underneath the boat. A couple of standard features that Cruise Craft do, uh, I'll start from the front and work our way back, is our latch and release system. I've seen it on majority of our boats, but that's really cool. We also get the spare wheel and carrier, Fulton winch, how we've got our C deck rec pads along the I beam of the trailer. And a really cool feature, a bit hard to see, but they actually come standard with stainless steel brakes. And there's a coating on the disc for Dacromat. I don't know exactly what it is, but there's a bit of science behind it which stops it from corroding. Another cool and very new feature is these little tie-down straps on the back of the boat. So they're actually built into the back of the trailer. So you don't need to take them off, leave them in your car. They're always there, ready to go. Uh, you'll see you know, one of the most daunting parts for an owner is obviously putting their boat back on the trailer but this huge V-loader at the back gives you a massive distance or, to get the boat centralised. Doesn't matter if you're a little bit off the side as long as you're in between the two skids on either side and get that boat straight onto the trailer you'll be able to centralise it. The business end, the new F300 offshore. Have a look at it. Not much I can say, but that is one sexy motor and just makes that boat look amazing. A um, couple of things to point on straight away. The internal engine, is there's no differences. It's exactly the same as the old engine. Um, the new styling, new color, the pearl white, looks fantastic. And these new raised decals, chrome, just set it apart and make it look amazing. A uh, couple of other differences, which I'll touch on is They've running a new exhaust above the cab plate here. So the way that works is 2,000, 2 RPM and under, all the exhaust gases are coming out through the top here rather than coming out from the, the prop. So in reverse, the idea is that's getting a lot of cleaner water. Now, you would have seen Hellmarker EX introduced recently. I think it was really smart of Yamaha what they did is releasing the retrofitting system before this because existing owners with a drive-by-wire engine can buy that electric steering and bolt it to their engine. Um, with that setup there was lights built into the back. Uh, with the new motor with the electric steering built in they've been able to incorporate that light into the back. So a little bit cleaner setup, uh, makes for a little bit more easier installation. Um, driving experience, it's when you first jump into it, the steering is super light. Comments I've had from customers that got it, it actually feels too light. The way I describe it is after driving these for the last six months now with electric steering, whether it's the built-in or the bolt-on system, is the whole driving experience is amazing. When I jump back into an older boat, which has got hydraulic steering, you really realize just how good this system is. And you can actually program from the gauge uh, how stiff or how light you want the steering and actual how many lock to lock turns you can do. So really cool stuff from Yamaha, I love it. Okay, at the helm. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the new Helmaster EX system. Um, I've been fortunate enough to spend quite a few hours out in the water playing around with it. I guess a lot of focus you would have seen is on this fish point or spot lock feature. Um, this system doesn't replace your electric motor and a lot of the emphasis has been on that fish point. And it does work, it does have its limitations and it will change the way you fish completely. I think there's a lot of other cool features that have sort of been missed or haven't been spoken about quite as much. Um, one of my favourite features on this is the, the drift point feature. So. You can, also you're governed by the wind, so you've got to set a drift up so the wind's going to push you or current's going to push you in a certain direction. And on your GPS chart plotter, you plot where you want to end up and then just hit the drift point feature. 
Once you engage drift point, you can then change the angle of the boat by just twisting the joystick so you can have everyone fishing off one side. Um, and yeah, it's it's super easy. Now you're, you are governed by the wind, so it has its limitations as well. If it's absolutely howling, you're gonna drift quite fast. But in nice conditions, normal conditions, when you find yourself fishing, it is amazing. Um, we've got quite a few customers with this system as well. And whilst they're out using it, they're using it in different ways we're not even thinking of. One in particular, Drift Point is his favorite feature. And in, and in nice conditions, he's been able to turn the boat round Whilst he's going back to his fishing point to set up another drift, he's using another feature. So he's using track point, which is the autopilot to get back to his original starting point. Then on the control box up here, I'll just show you, there's actually a speed control feature and you just push down to engage it. And all of a sudden that controls the speed of the boat. So rather than racing back, he's been able to slow the boat down to like one and a half knots and yeah, they can have a quick job on the way back and yeah, more fishing time. It's, it's, it's awesome. Um, the other cool thing is the autopilot. Um, it's probably the best I've used. Uh, we're relying on electric signals coming from GPS pucks down to electric head units, going to electric steering. So it's just perfect. It just stays on track, absolutely amazing. Um, and this new control box. So not really spoken about, but the ergonomics of it, it's just so comfortable to use. It makes the whole driving experience really nice. Um, whilst we're up here, something we've been trialing in a few different boats now, uh, you'll notice that we've got this complete blackout uh, all through the dash, the door, glove box, windscreen frame. Whilst it looks amazing, what I found is at night time, uh, it's actually cut a bit of the glare down. So. As you're looking at the front, you're not getting all this light bouncing off a white surface. Um, yeah, it's it's really nice. You still get a bit of glare, but it's it's definitely improved it. Something that doesn't get spoken about much is a uh, is a cabin. Uh, you'll see in here we've got our cabin infill cushion. Uh, you would have saw a bit of me laying down inside there. I'm just over six foot and can lay down in there quite comfortably. Uh, there's plenty of room. Uh, there's also an electric macerator toilet underneath there and those bunk infill cushions fit perfectly over the top. A stacks of room for storing. Um, yeah, part of the boat we don't really we see too much. Um, another thing I want to touch base on is just how clean this whole helm setup is. Um, we're running a Garmin 8416 in dash and an 8412 up on dash. Uh, this is all rigged through a phantom radar, which is up on the roof. Um, we do a lot of night driving. Obviously, we're going out early in the morning to get to our spots, and that phantom radar has just given me so much more confidence from going out at night. Um, you can see things in different colours. Red is coming towards you. Blue is stationary or staying the same distance away from you. And green, it's actually pulling away from you. So, especially in places where you haven't been before, it's nice to have a little bit more confidence. Uh, this whole setup here with the Hellmaster just looks like it's meant to be there. It's not just stuff bolted on top of each other. It's just really clean. Um, another cool feature with this new motor uh, is the electric start and stop. It has a key fob that comes with it. And unless you've got that key fob, it's not going to start. So another bit of added security for your, your pride and joy. Another popular feature or option that we've added to our demo boat is a pair of Cruise Craft custom eskies. Uh, they're a fiberglass esky, they're a split lid, so you don't have to drag the whole thing to get in and out. And they've got this removable cushion on the top as well. A bit of extra seating in the boat, it's nice and comfortable. And I can tell you from experience, when you put ice in these, you generally got ice for the whole week, and a great addition to your, to your boat. You'll notice the sea deck flooring is a little bit different than what we've done in the past. Uh, we've opted for the this huge Team Cruise Craft logo. Um, it's added a bit of extra light grey to the whole thing and mixes it up a little bit, something a little bit differently. And we've got the nice fish measurer down one side, which is generally where you're gonna throw your fish, so nice and easy to measure. Uh, long day out on the water, this stuff is really soft underfoot. Uh, it's a non-porous foam, so it doesn't absorb water, blood, smells, all that kind of stuff. It dries up really quickly and I can tell you, it is really easy to clean and you'd be very surprised at how easy all the blood and guts. Gurney's off or hoses off it. Great stuff, you've got to have it. Guys, 
that's a quick wrap up on our new demo 720. I hope you've enjoyed the fit. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff on this boat we haven't even touched base on, and I'd love to show you more. Uh, this boat is for sale, so if you'd like any further info and want to have a chat about it, please give me a call or send me an email. All the details are on the screen, so look forward to talking to you. Thank you.